I'm Dr. Dan, talking to you from Old Vitamin Pro, and we're discussing a little bit about vitamin safety. Now, this is a topic we shouldn't even have to discuss, but the media has been all over this, and I think there's an agenda behind it. But it's important for you to understand that vitamins, are, vitamins and supplements are generally uh, extremely safe, and we'll go through a few, uh, a few points here. The first thing you need to keep in mind though when you when you read stories in the in the national media or listen to them on radio or NPR or wherever it is, uh, the um, the media's job is to keep you not informed but afraid. Because if you're afraid, then you're more likely to stay with that story and be more exposed to advertising. So that's just the way it works. And so just because the story talks about some detrimental effect of vitamins don't assume right away that there's any truth to it because it's probably highly skewed. And the other thing is that pharmaceutical companies, of course, make money on your misery. And if you're a happy, healthy person, you're, a, you're in the enemy column of, of big pharma. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's go to the conclusion, though. And I'm going to quote Michael Long, who's a naturopath. And you can find more about him on Optimum Integrative Health. And he says, even with totally irresponsible use, you'd be hard-pressed to be killed by your vitamins. In truth, studies are published every day showing the safety and health-promoting effects of vitamins, especially when used responsibly, i.e., for a specific purpose, after objective testing showing efficiency and according to the evidence. If you want to focus on something that will actually kill you, open your medicine cabinet and look at the drugs that stare back at you. Close to 1 million people die in North America every year as a direct result of the adverse effects from prescription drugs. The safety record of pharmaceutical drugs is not even comparable to vitamins. And the European Union did their own study, and what they determined was that you're 62,000 times more likely to die of a prescription drug than any supplement. And to put that another way, so let's say that one person had a, a really bad reaction to a supplement of some kind and or even died, which is, you know, I've never heard of that, but let's say that it does happen. Uh, that would be the equivalent of wiping out Carson Valley, where we, where we live right now, uh, every single year, or about 60,000 people. So, you know, one person versus the whole valley. you're more likely to drown in your bathtub than to be, uh, to be injured by these supplements. So, I'm going to have to divide this talk into two parts. In the first part, we're going to talk about uh, vitamin E and prostate cancer, and then we'll, the next section will be on, um, on fish oil and prostate cancer as well. Now, there was a, uh, what I would call a project, we won't even call it a study, because it wasn't really a study. In this project, um, they some scientists determined and published this information in 2011 that if you take vitamin E, you're 17% more likely to have uh, prostate cancer than if you didn't. Now, that sounds pretty alarming, and, and doctors were on talk shows and, and given interviews to, to sound the alarm that, oh my gosh, this, these vitamins are really horrible, and uh, there's just one example of how they can kill you. But let's look a little closer. What they were using is something called an alpha tocopheryl acetate. Now that's a synthetic substance that is similar to vitamin E, but is not vitamin E. And it's is a, a petrochemical derived compound. Now vitamin E is, uh, is um, mixed, what we like is mixed tocopherols, which is, sounds kind of the same, but it's not. So that would be like taking Michael Jordan out of the game, putting in someone who kind of looks like him, different family, but kind of looks like him, and um, and then you say, well, gee, the the Chicago Bulls really don't do very well with this Michael Jordan fellow in there, so I think we should get rid of him. But really, if they would put the real one in there, they would get a whole different result. So that's what we find here. Now, I also find it curious that in these studies, you know, medical doctors, for some reason, don't understand the difference between synthetic vitamins and natural vitamins. Now, these same doctors, when they go to, to buy a putter, they're very discriminating. Or, let's say that you, um, you went out to a parking lot and you replaced all their leather seats in their Jaguar 
with, uh, with vinyl seats, you think they would notice a difference? Well, yeah, they would notice a difference and they'd be uh, on the phone with their lawyer really fast. But when it comes to these uh, so-called studies, which I, again I call projects, you know, they, don't under, they freely throw in a synthetic compound and call it vitamin E, even though it isn't. So plenty of studies have been shown that vitamin E in its natural forms is really helpful. Now another point to this is they're using something called alpha uh, tocopherol acetate. Now the alpha, the, these alpha forms uh, display something called the gamma forms and the gamma forms are extremely uh, cancer protective. So they're not only are they adding a, a, a synthetic form, but it's also displacing the gamma, the natural gamma uh, vitamin E forms, which it also increases your risk of cancer. And one study that was done at Johns Hopkins, they found that people who had the highest levels of these gamma to, uh, tocopherols, which is the real vitamin E, actually had five times more resistant to developing cancer than people who didn't. So, you know, on face value, you know, they make this sound like vitamin E is really horrible, but it isn't. So I don't want you to be confused. And uh, when you shop at Ovitamin Pro, you can be certain that you're not going to get this uh, alpha tocopherol acetate because this is a cheap form. And this is the stuff you're going to find in the big box stores. And, you know, in, in the, the gigantic vitamin E bottles for, uh, for $8.95, you know, in, the, in your drugstore. So don't buy that stuff. You know, get the real thing because your body knows the difference. So anyway, thanks a lot for listening. I look forward to part two where I discuss fish oils and prostate cancer.